And then it's uh, in times the title track where we. The, I really like the, the introduction part of the song. It feels like it's coming at the right time in the album. There's been so many different things happening, different atmosphere, different emotions uh, flowing here and there. And then this title track comes and sort of settles things a little bit for a while with this, this long repetitious intro. It's um, for me personally, it's, it's, it's a bit of a milestone. It's the longest lead I've done myself as a guitarist. I always tend to, to leave sort of the lead playing to Icedale simply put because he's an actual lead guitarist and knows how to do those things. Um, and, but this time I really had a, a strong vision of how I wanted that opening thing to be, so I, I just had to sit down and, and yeah, do the good old rehearsing on my own, like spend, spend hours and, and trying to build some kind of technique to, to be able to pull that off to the, how to play it. It's not in, in technique as in many notes per second or that kind of thing, but it just needed that sort of 70s airy guitar work that you find in, in bands like Yes or King Crimson or Pink Floyd. Uh, no comparison, but that's the kind of airiness that I wanted the lead to have. And I think it succeeded in, in the sense that makes makes that intro uh, yeah, pretty good. And then the song sort of starts after that and it's it's got it's probably the most dynamic song I think on the album. Because it, it's all the way down to really mellow part in the middle that uh, reminds me a little bit of Dark Side of the Moon era of Pink Floyd, that kind of piano vibe. I, I loved recording that, by the way, playing the piano in the studio. And, and it's been a while since I did that. It was great. And, and, and it's got the harsh, you know, typical enslaved black metal influenced parts too. Yeah, Day Daylight's a, a special song, um, and, and, and it's a, a natural conclusion to the album. What happened is that the first five songs were written more or less in the order that they're on the album, and came to the point where, where for the first time, actually during the, the process of making the album, checked like the, the, the little watch at the bottom of the screen from the computer program where I'm recording the demos. And it said 40 something minutes uh, and made me go like, eek, I have to have some kind of plan on the length of the album or like it, ha it has to end somewhere. It, it's it's going to be <clears throat> either a couple of more shorter songs, so it's going to be one long song or maybe one like semi long and a short one, you know, you never know. And then I started writing Daylight and it, it it was much like Thursday's dreaming. It was such a, a natural process. When I started writing it, it simply wouldn't stop. It just m sort of wrote itself out. Um, it's also a dynamic song, like in times, but it's it's more of a, a not so subtle. It's more of the kind of um, like <laughs> uh, dynamic and like on-off sense. It's got this very, you know, onwards toward battle kind of feeling in, in the beginning of the song and then it drops all the way down to this melodic very for me personally very tender part of the song uh, because uh, it was um, <clears throat> yeah I, I got the lots of uh, connecting with my you know emotions around having my, my second child and just that whole lyrical aspect is about about the, the clean sheets that you know, the human mind is to begin with and, and how it develops and how, I guess, when you become aware of, of sort of mind, how your mind works when you're, you, you're grown up, you have a choice to either just go with whatever is influencing you, manipulating you, or you can sort of start fresh again and sort of rebuild yourself when you, you become aware of sort of a, like a meta consciousness which reminds a lot of how, uh, I guess, trying to see the world as children do, in a sense, and, and build from there. And having one of those creatures around made me uh, really connect with that aspect. So it became a bit of a, of a way of 
expressing how I wanted to sound. Like, uh, I had some discussions with Habon, who's doing the, the clean part in the middle, and it, it, I couldn't really explain, but it sounded a bit too, the way he was doing it, it sounded too planned, or too like grown up in a sense. And I want, so I sent him some photos of, of the baby having fun with some of her toys and said, like, try and think a little bit more like this. This is how I want it to sound. And he sent, like, the first attempt he sounded, sent back, I was like, okay, perfect. It just has to be a little bit of more of a naivety in a sense, you know. Uh, and by that time we realized there couldn't be any songs after Daylight. It just had to end the album. <laughs> 